Meniscus transplantation has completely changed our perception of knee arthritis and how to treat it. In the past, when a person would get arthritis, there would be wearing away of the articular cartilage of the joint, and often that was from loss of the meniscus, the shock absorber for the joint. Inside the joint, there are two types of cartilage. There's the articular cartilage, which is the covering on the end of the bone, and there's the meniscus cartilage, the shock absorber for the joints. Arthritis occurs when there's wearing away of this articular cartilage. Very commonly, that occurs when an athlete or person has torn their meniscus cartilage, and in high school or college, a surgeon might have removed a part of that meniscus, and then over the years, the patient wears away the joint, wearing away that joint surface. In the past, there was no way to replace the meniscus cartilage or to regrow the articular cartilage. That's completely changed. Now we can regrow this surface, we can replace this meniscus, and provide a biologic joint replacement rather than an artificial joint replacement. People who qualify for meniscus cartilage replacement are everyone from the young to the old. So young people have torn their meniscus and unfortunately the surgeon had to remove a significant amount of it and they now present with pain and we know that if left alone that joint will go on to develop arthritis. And so in those patients we replace the meniscus in order to protect that perfect joint surface for many years for the future. Older people who present to us with joint pain and the x-ray shows nearly bone on bone changes they've lost the bearing surface of the joint, and they're missing that shock absorber, most commonly say, Doc, isn't there something you can stick in my knee to act as a shock absorber? In fact, now there is, and that is a meniscus cartilage can be put back into that knee and provide shock absorption for the knee. Importantly, meniscus replacement can be done as an outpatient arthroscopic procedure. Unlike total joint replacement, that involves a hospital stay and an open knee surgery procedure. So meniscus cartilage replacement also provides relief for people in the age group from 20 to 70 who still want to play sports, impact sports and ski and play tennis and hike, and those patients would prefer to have a biologic rather than a bionic or artificial joint replacement. The advantage is that biologic joint replacement replacing the meniscus cartilage and regrowing the articular cartilage. Number one can be done as an outpatient arthroscopic procedure. Number two, if the patient wears it out, it can be redone as an outpatient arthroscopic procedure or can go on to a joint replacement. Whereas when we do an artificial joint replacement, that usually and hopefully is the last procedure that we do to that knee. Unfortunately, artificial joint replacements usually will last up to 20 years. Many of our patients are 40, 50, 60, 70, and would like to be exercising for another 30 or 40 years. They would prefer to have a biologic replacement rather than an artificial replacement. Many of our patients who ask for biologic joint replacement are runners, marathoners, tennis players, hikers, skiers. They point to one side of their knee. They say, Doc, it hurts right here. Can't you just put a shock absorber back inside my knee? Meniscus replacement is that shock absorber, and when combined with a careful rehabilitation program, focusing on regaining range of motion, strength in the legs, strength in the hips, strength in the core, then patients can return to sports activities with a protected knee and a great athletic performance. Meniscus replacement is almost always combined with treatment for the articular cartilage if there's arthritis. Arthritis is that wearing away of the bearing surface of the joint. Now we can regrow that bearing surface by stimulating the marrow cells and bringing out marrow stem cells to the surface of that arthritic joint, combining it with a paste graft in order to provide a matrix to regrow the articular cartilage. That, when combined with a motion machine to stimulate motion on the knee joint in the first month of healing, leads to a regeneration of the articular cartilage surface. If we can smooth the rough articular cartilage and provide a fibrous shock absorber for the knee, then the patient can gain tremendous pain relief. We've now been doing meniscus cartilage replacement for over 10 years, articular cartilage regeneration using a paste graft technique, 
for now 17 years with hundreds of patients who've undergone these procedures. We know that patients, when they heal the procedure, can return to impact sports. This is dramatically different from our previous care where we could only smooth the rough cartilage and hope that it would not break down too fast.